Legend has it that Albert Einstein once said that if the bees disappeared, man would only have four years of life left. With that in mind, we make a beeline to the Okotoks area and follow the signs to the Chinook Honey Company. I'm Sherry Andrews, and at Chinook Honey Company, I am the Queen Bee. Hi, I'm Art Andrews, and I'm a beekeeper. We actually started off, uh, both of us, in aviation. You wouldn't believe it, but uh, that's, you know, the beginning of our background. It was a match made in heaven with a honeymoon that continues to this day. So this is a far distance from um, aviation in some ways. Of course, we're dealing with flying insects, though. We actually started in beekeeping, uh, it was actually 18 years ago uh, when Art decided that he wanted a uh, few beehives actually to supplement our uh, garden. We started with uh, two beehives, uh, I guess it would be 1995, and uh, the reason I got two beehives was uh, I'm a gardener and I like to pollinate uh, my garden, of course. So he figured this would be a nice little hobby. The whole garden itself was good for stress. Uh, relief and anyway that grew to be six and twelve. All of a sudden I had fifty. Uh, how'd that happen? And then uh, then we worked our way up to three hundred highs but basically it was uh, mainly uh, this beginning was for pollination and then of course uh, it went off from there. Extracting honey in their garage turned out to be a messy affair. It was a good place to start but was evident as sticky doorknobs and floors throughout their entire home. Their vision of having a building dedicated to the production of honey required more space. So we bought uh, 71 acres in 1998, and uh, there was nothing on it, not even a tree. Their to-do list included growing gardens, planting trees, and constructing the buildings. Today, as the number of beehives multiply, it's good to know that the Chinook Honey Company has room to grow. But of course, um, we're always trying to uh, grow in a quality fashion and um, provide quality products. That's really the key. The annual spring roundup sees art returning from New Zealand. It's a 1,200 kilometer trek with some very precious cargo. So each box of bees weighs about uh Two to three pounds, and you're going to be about 2,500 and 3,000 bees. One queen, which is in a cage, and uh, what we'll do then is get her hive box ready, and then we're going to take two or three of those frames out and take the top off the a package and shake the bees into the box, and then we're going to hang the queen in there, and we're going to put a marshmallow in one end of the, in the queen's uh, cage so she can't get out, and they have to eat through that to let her out. Uh, and that slows them down so they get used to her pheromones and, and so they can uh, actually accept the, accept the queen. We have our harvest festival in late August which is a wonderful event because it's right in the middle of the honey harvest so everyone gets a chance to experience what it's like to harvest honey. The kids get a chance to uh, spin out honey in the extractor, taste it firsthand, and as well, we've been really blessed with uh, good weather, so we have observation or a hive demonstration, open hive demonstrations outside where the beekeepers will actually open up some of the uh, hives we have on the property. They have a screened area for the people who want to come and watch and so they're protected of course but uh, you get to see firsthand what it's like to be a beekeeper and crack that hive open and hear that whoosh of the bees and at the same time maybe uh, get a chance to find the queen in that maze of thousands and thousands of bees. We opened up our, our small, very tiny little retail store in 2004. Open three days a week, I think, and if we made $100 a day, it was a good day. And we didn't expect a lot in the beginning, we knew that. Uh, but then, for some reason, it did expand. Uh, once I retired from my work, I had more time to uh, put into the business, so then we expanded a little more. We are now looking at expanding once again to be able to accommodate some of the tours we've been doing because more and more we have school tours, seniors groups, and tourist buses coming in. 
and they're all wanting to experience uh, and learn about the honeybees and the natural products they have to offer. The store here is, is our real big focus, of course, different honey products. We also make here a number of other products with the honey, for instance, honey jams, honey sauces, uh, things like that, not to mention, of course, the honey wine, the mead. The mead came along as an added value to our business. Uh, it's uh, honey wine, of course, it's the oldest drink in the world. Um, there was nothing in Alberta like that, and we decided, well, let's be the first. I made 50 batches, small, and practiced over about five years, made lots of mistakes, and then put it in the big tank and, and hope for the best, and it, it started to turn out okay. And, so now we're, we're made about 12,000 liters last year. We are in different farmers markets. We have two seasonal markets that we're at, Hillhurst Sunnyside, and additionally at Millerville Farmers Market through the season. And then from there, we also uh, really like working with chefs. We work with a number of chefs in the city of Calgary and also here in Okotoks and some of the other smaller towns. To teach people about bees is really one of the biggest things we strive to do because as many of us have heard they are um, endangered in a way with different diseases that are happening and also um, some pesticides are part of the problem but there's many many factors to the issues that are facing bees right now. What I think we really like to do is educate. We love the contact with people. We're also we're, I guess we're a bit stubborn, of course, in some ways, but um, I think the biggest thing is that we love experimenting. We like to be a little bit outside the box. We love doing different honey products. Uh, we've got a uh, mead vinegar, the first uh, vinegar to be produced in, the, in Alberta, for instance. So that in itself, those small things are really what keep us going. We're always pushing the outside limit. The thing I really love about honeybees is that they are so intelligent and they have such a community uh, attitude to things. The colony itself is very well organized and in fact um, very self-sustaining in many ways. So between the different ways they delegate uh, their jobs within the hive and the, you know they're just organized and all working to one cause. Very fascinating. The honey was only the beginning and of course we're adding on as we go and there's, I don't see any end in sight, really. So, there you have it. With 300 hives and thousands of employees on the wing, Art and Sherry Andrews have their work cut out for them. Chinook Honey Company's products are available at numerous farmer's markets, local restaurants, and of course, right here at the farm.